I just want to say that just because Derek Chauvin has been charged with third-degree murder and second-degree manslaughter doesn't mean he'll be convicted in a court of law. He could still end up being found innocent. Now, even if he's found guilty, that doesn't mean we've even put a tiny dent into racism in the United States. People just don't want to hear about racism in this country. You can say, oh, well, we hear about it all the time. Yeah, and you don't want to listen. When black people complain about racism, people just want to plug their ears. And people will say, well, they need to find a more constructive way to protest. Okay, how about Colin Kaepernick taking a knee at football games? You guys throw a fit over it. Donald Trump threw a fit over it. How dare you take a knee during the national anthem? Oh, that's shitting all over this country. No, it's, it's making a statement. And people freak out no matter how it's said. If it's said in a way that forces people to listen or to even acknowledge anything about it, it's considered unacceptable. So let me be clear. A lot of people are just plain tired of trying to address the problem of racism in this country. They're just tired of it. They're at their wit's end. I mean, think about bad parents who continually punish their kids for bullshit things. Eventually, the kids are likely to actually start doing truly bad things because, well, it doesn't matter what they do, they're going to get treated like shit anyway. You know? That sort of thing translates to humans all the way around. If people are going to continually be treated like they're animals, then eventually they're going to just be like, well, fuck it, I'm going to act like an animal because I'm going to get treated like one no matter what I do anyway. So, you know, that really goes into this picture. Because even... Even when something like the George Floyd situation comes up, all people can focus on is, oh, the individual situation. There's no systemic problem. People won't admit to any of it. Hell, even the Karens out there who call the police on black people, even they will try to say that they're not racist. So there are a lot of people out there who would just rather see everything burn. Is it right? Well, it doesn't really matter whether it's right. The reality is that people have given up. No matter how they protest, some people are still going to look at them as if they're, they're no better than other animals. So yeah, there's people who just want to watch the whole thing burn. There are people who are just going to try to take advantage of any situation they can. Any way that they can benefit, they're going to take. I'd say a big percentage of black people don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. If no matter what they do, people are going to look at them as less than human. If no matter how they act, no matter how they dress, there's going to be Karens calling the police on them. Then, you know, what difference does it make if they have the same rights as everyone else? What difference does it make? This goes for really any, any group that feels marginalized. When women feel like they're looked at as less than men. Yeah, what difference does it make when women have the same rights as men? What difference does it make? Are you going to claim that the law defines how someone feels? That the law declares how society treats people? Well, if the law says they're equal, then they're equal. Is that really how some of you think things work? How do we work on systemic issues? How do we take care of social attitudes? I mean, like I said, people freak out over someone taking a knee at a football game. You're shooting all over this country. Now, I'm not defending the rioting. I'm not defending the destruction. 
I'm not defending burning places down. I am, however, saying that it's understandable. Now, if you can't tell the difference between condoning something and saying you understand why something is happening, then you're an idiot. Thanks.